Hello Web Design uh, Spring 2017. Uh, this is a short tutorial for how to migrate your old blog that you had in COM200 to a new directory uh, so that you will be able to use your domain. Uh, <coughs> you'll be able to use your domain uh, in, in its main area. Uh, I apologize, my cough is still um, crazy. And so I apologize if I cough my way through this, but I have to get this done tonight. Uh, you will know if your domain or if your blog is in the main area of your domain, if when you go to your website, like mine is BillWolfSJU.com, you see a WordPress blog. Um, if it is not there, uh, you will see something that looks like this, or maybe something else. Um, some sort of, maybe you had an HTML file that you created before. Uh, from what I saw of all your websites so far, uh, you have not. Um, you have, most of you either have this, or you have a version of something that looks like this. It will look like something you created in COM200. Okay. Uh, in order to uh, clone your site and um, port it over, you'll need to log into uh, Reclaim Hosting. So uh, you can log into here. Oops, that's what I need. Mean. Email. That's the right password. <coughs> and you will come to your client area. Uh, from here, you'll want to click on the C panel or control panel, which will take you to something that looks like this. Uh, there's a lot to, of information, <coughs> excuse me, in your control panel. Uh, which we could talk about at some point if you'd like. Uh, for now, you need to go to WordPress, okay, because uh, this is where your WordPress install is. Again, this is for only for people in class who have the blog as, the, as part of the main domain. If you have something like this, you don't have to do anything, okay? Uh, from here, uh, this is the Installatron, which allows you to install WordPress blogs. Um, you will click on the tab for my applications. Okay. Now I currently have three because of work that I've done on this before with uh, other students, uh, but you probably just have one, uh, which is where your main uh, WordPress is installed. And you'll see it uh, right in here. You should see something like your URL.com or .net or whatever you created, your URL excuse me, slash WP admin, and then WordPress.org support, um, something like, like this. Um, on the right-hand side, you will see uh, four icons. Uh, one is for editing details, one is for backup, one is for cloning, and one is to delete or uninstall. Okay. Uh, what we want to do is click on the clone icon, and this is the third one in from the left. And click on that and uh, there'll be some information here uh, where it's coming from and then the destination where you want it to go to um, and the default that it is added right now for me is blog which is really very nice because that's what i would want to say so from now on your blog will be at your ul your <laughs> your url slash blog okay um, automatically create a new database automatically clone these settings for source. Yes, you want to do all that. And then scroll down and you'll see at the bottom right hand corner, uh, it will say uh, clone and you click on that. And it's processing. And it could take some time to process. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I will cut out most of this if it takes a while. I'm gonna sip some tea. Oh my goodness, I gotta get rid of this cough. It's ridiculous. It's gonna linger for a month based on past coughs after little colds. <coughs> Excuse me. 
sites, the Bill Wolf main one, which is here. And I have, whoops, the cloned version, which we can see now is billwolfsju.com slash blog. And yours should read whatever your, your, your URL is, dot com slash blog. Okay, so I'm going to type go up here, and I'm just going to type in slash blog uh, at the end. And I will see now that everything that I put here um, is here, I think. Some of the titles seem to be missing. Oh, that one was untitled. Uh, here's my great title. That's good. So everything is there is the way it should be. Uh, I've got my tags and everything like that. Okay, so now I can go back to my installation. And I can go back to here, my main page, and I can uninstall WordPress. This is not going to delete your URL. It's not going to delete your account from Reclaim Hosting. It just uninstalls the installation of WordPress so that you can then begin to upload basic HTML files and CSS files and image files uh, that we're going to be needing to do in our class and that you'll be able to do uh, as you're moving forward. So click uninstall, and it's going to ask you if you really want to uninstall, and I'm going to say uninstall, and it's going to wait. And there it goes. Bye-bye. And I should be able to then click on that, and now I get the Reclaim Hosting front page, sort of the default that's there, just like other of you who just created your URLs again, and now I am ready to go and um, upload HTML and, and so on. Okay, so just a little tutorial. If you have any questions or problems, please let me know, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.